Flat Earth Proof 8 Star Trails Consider the Earth as it is said to spin around its axis at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour at the equator whilst traveling 67,000 miles per hour in circles around the Sun which is allegedly spiraling at 500,000 miles per hour around the Milky Way with the galaxy itself rocketing through the universe at an appalling 670 million miles per hour from an alleged cosmogenic explosion almost 14 billion years ago. Now consider that there are centuries-old sundials in the world which still reliably tell time to the present day, some down to the precise minute further consider that the constellations and their countless descriptions in ancient inscriptions, texts, and star charts are exactly the same as in present day. If the earth ball and all the stars were indeed shooting through the universe at the immense speeds described, then the stellar bodies should not even be as remotely as unchanging as they are. In fact, we should have a constantly changing night sky with some stars moving obviously faster than others. Now, consider that the distance to Polaris is said to be two trillion miles. Here's a visual representation of that number. Now, try to comprehend this distance and then ask yourself with the wobble, rotation, and revolution of the Earth alone, how is it possible for such a distant object to stay so perfectly aligned in the same point of our sky for all our recorded history? Rather, Polaris should, in fact, have a trajectory of his own. Furthermore, on the ball Earth, Polaris shouldn't be visible from anywhere south of the equator as you'd have to be looking through the curvature of the Earth to do so. However, Polaris can be seen from as far south as 20 degrees south latitude and even further. In fact, there are so many constellations which can be seen much farther than expected, assuming the ball Earth model. For instance, Ursa Major, right next to Polaris, can be seen from the North Pole all the way south to 30 degrees south latitude. Vulpecula can be seen from the North Pole to as far south as 55 degrees south latitude, whilst Taurus, Pisces, and Leo all can be seen from the North Pole to as far south as 65 degrees south latitude. Of course, none of this is possible assuming the ball Earth model, but some even more extreme examples are Aquarius and Libra, which can be seen from 65 degrees north latitude to 90 degrees south latitude. Virgo is visible from 80 degrees north latitude to 80 degrees south latitude. And Orion can be seen from 85 degrees north latitude all the way to 75 degrees south latitude. These are all only possible because hemispheres are not actually parts of a sphere, but rather concentric rings around the central pole above which the stars rotate. So investigate the subject for yourself and ask questions. Gee, I always thought they were balls of gas burning billions of miles away. Pumba, with you, everything's gas. Simba, what do you think? Well, I don't know. Oh, come on, well, give, give, come on, give, Simba, give, come on. Nah. We told the powers. Yeah. Well, yeah. somebody once told me th that the great kings of the past are up there, watching over us. Really? You mean a bunch of royal dead guys are watching us? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you something like that? Yeah, yeah. What mook made that up? <laughs> yeah, pretty dumb, huh? Oh, you're killing me, son. Yeah. <laughs>